Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing today? It's a beautiful Friday here. It's always a great day when we're alive and healthy and able to praise the Lord and worship God. And we're about to start a weekend that is going to be fantastic. Uh, this coming weekend, sat Sunday actually, following our service, we're doing our first Team Crossroads meeting that we've done in a long time. So just as a reminder to all of our Crossroads family, good morning, Zachariah, glad you're on here. Good morning, Sheila, good morning, Sherry, and Jeremy, and everybody else that's coming on. Everybody, glad to see you on here. Good morning, Josh. Um, but for our church family, don't forget Team Crossroads on Sunday. We're going to have a luncheon, probably about an hour long. That's it. And you'll still get home in time to take a nap. But uh, I just wanted to, it's our first Team Crossroads meeting in a long time. It's our first one of 2021. Going to be casting some vision for the rest of the year and uh, throwing out some things that we're wanting to do this year and preparing us to get a different mindset and a different perspective for ministry in 2021. So Crossroads, come out and be a part of that on Sunday. Of course, be there for church. And then following church, we're going to have a luncheon for about an hour and uh, just have some time together. Uh, so if you're involved in ministry at Crossroads in any capacity, doesn't matter what you do. If you're do any, if you do anything at Crossroads, we want you to be here on Sunday for, for that. You know, as I was uh, working out this morning, I did the dreaded leg day. Everybody hates leg day, but you got to do it. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to build these legs and get a firm foundation, <laughs> so to speak, for my fitness. But I was thinking this morning as I was doing my workout, the, the foundation on which we build our lives has to be the Word of God. It has to be the Word of God. And I came across this passage of scripture that's in Psalm chapter 33, and it was such a great reminder for me this morning. And I want to share it with you. It's in Psalm chapter 33, and it says this in verse 4, four and 5. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his work is done in truth. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. And as I kind of let that mull over in my spirit this morning, I believe that the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and said, you know, no matter what it looks like, no, no matter what my situation may be, no matter what I'm going through at this moment in, in my life, the Word of the Lord is right. There are times when the enemy can come in and try to get us to question the Word of God because of what we're going through, the difficulty, the trouble, the problems. And he may try to get us to question or doubt the Word of God. And can I tell you that there are times in your life where it seems like you'll be looking for an answer from God and you'll search the Word of God and the Word of God will speak plainly to you and yet it doesn't seem like that should be the answer for your life in that moment. It seems like that's not the right answer. And in your own mind and in your own heart, you think you have the right answer. And, and here's the thing. It's not the responsibility of the Word of God to line up with what I think. It's my responsibility to let what I think line up with the Word of God because the Word of God is always right. The Word of God is always true. And so no matter what I may think in any given moment, I have to make sure that my mindset lines up with the Word of God and not try to make the Word of God line up with my mindset. See, the Word of God is not a buffet that I walk up to and I pick and choose what I want for that moment. No, I come to the Word of God, I read it, I let it get in my spirit, and the Word of God is the truth of my life. The psalmist said, your word, O Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So the scripture reminds me that the word of God, the word of the Lord is always right. Doesn't matter what the government's telling me. It doesn't matter what the CDC is telling me. 
It doesn't matter what the culture is telling me or what political correctness is trying to speak into my life. The word of the Lord is always right. The word of God is the absolute truth upon which I must base everything else in my life and in my walk with God. So we need to stop trying to take the things of this world and make the word of God fit them so we can justify the way we want to live or how we want to act. We need to take how we act and make it conform to the word of God. That's where the transformation of our mind, the renewing of our mind takes place. You see, the things that I think and the way that I want to live my life and the, my will will always lead me into places of deception, manipulation, struggle. But the Word of God will always lead me to the truth. To the truth. I don't care what the world is telling us is the truth for today. I don't care if the world is telling us that things have changed and what used to be right is now wrong. What used to be good is now bad. I don't care what the world says. I know what the Word of God says, and it is the standard by which I must live my life and by which you must live your life. So if there's ever any question about a thought or an ideology or a philosophy or a teaching or a perspective or a cultural shift, we need to check the Word of God. You see, the Word of God is the ultimate fact checker. That's one of the things that has become so popular in this day and age with digital media, social media, all of those things is fact checking. And sometimes the fact checking is errant. Sometimes it is manipulated. Sometimes it is an outright deception. But here's the thing. When I feel something in my heart and my spirit, I need to check it against the facts of the word of God because the word of God is the ultimate fact checker in my life. And I don't care what anybody else says. I don't care what anyone else tells you. You line up with the word of God. You will never go wrong siding with the word of God. Because the scripture says here, and his work, all his work is done in truth. There's a lot that's happening in our world today on many levels that is portrayed as being done in truth. But the reality is it's being done in manipulation. It's being done in lies. It's being done in, in misconception and manipulation. It's being done veiled so that we don't see the truth. But the amazing thing about the Spirit of God is there's nothing hidden with Him. There's nothing that, that he tries to cover or manipulate in your life. The word of God is just what it is. It will speak truth and it will speak life. And so today I want to encourage you. Let the word of God come alive in you. It's powerful. It's sharper than a sword, a two-edged sword. And listen, there are times it will come into your life and it will heal and it will comfort. But there are other times that the Word of God is going to come in your life and it's going to cut out things and it's going to prune away things that don't need to be there and it's not comfortable. It's not easy, but yet it's truth. So let truth change you. The Word of God is right. His truth marches on even in the face of everything you face in your life. I love you today. I'm praying for you. May God richly bless you as you go throughout your day.